Hello all, this is Sivashri doing my first year MBA from Salta School of Management. I am here to give a few highlights of this week's news. 4 million doses of Pfizer Moderna likely by August. India is expecting 3 to 4 million doses of COVID vaccines from US majors Moderna and Pfizer soon through the COVAX facility in August. But before the messenger R ribonucleic acid vaccines come to India via this route, the legalities around the indemnity clause regarding legal liabilities for adverse events after vaccinations will have to be settled. All doses delivered through COVAX are covered by its no-fault compensation program and all participants in the facility must have signed the indemnity agreements with the manufacturers in question to receive doses through COVAX. This will also be true for doses received via bilateral deals. The facility is helping facilitate the process of getting these agreements in place for lower income economies that require. The government is reviewing the legal provisions related to vaccine donations from global suppliers. NCLAT closes insolvency case against FOIO and its subsidiary. The National Company Law Appellate Tribunal closed insolvency proceedings against FOIO and one of its subsidiaries and also disallowed the intervention of external parties including the Federation of Hotel and Restaurant Associations of India. Industry body FHRAI said in May that it had been allowed by NCLAT to intervene on behalf of hotels in the OYO unit insolvency case before the tribunal and had filed the application on behalf of its lender hotels in India, which said it was operational creditors. Industry body FHRAI said in May it had been allowed by NCLAT to intervene on behalf of hotels in the OYO unit insolvency case before the tribunal and had filed the application on behalf of its lender hotels in India who it said were operational creditors suffering hugely on account of non-payments of debt by OYO. Guragram-based hotelier Rakesh K. Yadav, who had filed the insolvency plea with the National Company Law Tribunal against the unit of OYO, claimed that OHHPL had defaulted on a payment of 16 lakh, withdrew that case after resolving the issue in June. Former WhatsApp this head Neera Jarora may join back Paytm board. Ahead of Paytm's $3 billion initial public offering, Neera Jarora, the former WhatsApp global business head, is likely to rejoin the board of Paytm. Arora, who is widely credited for being the important part of the way Facebook and WhatsApp deal was structured, was on the board of Paytm during 2015 to 2018. Arora quit the Paytm board in February of 2018, and it was believed the reason was Paytm founder Vijay Shekhar Sharma's comments on the regulatory manipulation of WhatsApp in the unified payments interface space. In November of the same year, Arora quit WhatsApp to spend time with family. He is an advisor to Venture Highway and early stage venture capital firm. Ambani Adani face off in a race to solar domination. Business tycoon Mukesh Ambani's $10 billion entry into the renewable energy could drive solar tariffs further to the ground and ignite bidding wars with the fellow billionaire Gautam Adani. India's two richest men are vying to be in the forefront of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's ambition to ramp up green energy capacity more than fourfold to 450 gigawatts by 2030. They have mostly avoided operating in each other's space and the renewable energy pushed by Ambani's flagship Reliance Industries and the Adani group of companies will be the highest profile face of the game. Ambani announced last month he will build a 100 gigawatt in solar energy capacity over the next 9 years and would spend $10 billion over the next 3 years in building solar manufacturing units, a battery factory for energy storage, a fuel cell factory and a unit to produce green hydrogen. Three days later, Adani announced that his green energy venture would add 5 gigawatts every year to this decade from a current level of about 3.5 gigawatts. Analysts say that the sufficient space for multiple companies to grow as a part of India's ambitious green energy target, but tariffs could fall further as companies try to outdo each other in this aggressive bidding wars to win projects. Reliance has a track record of disrupting rival businesses, and growth groups are trying to improve their clean energy credentials as investors pay more attention to the environmental impact of their businesses and make decisions based on ESG ratings.